Aries, welcome to your love reading. So I'm going to do a love read for you for today. Um, everybody always asks for the love reading, so I'm going to go ahead and get this started for you. Angels and Spirits, what do we have here for Aries? And I did put up my summer collection, which has a lot of shells. So if any of you are interested in that, and recycled glass and wood. So a lot of shell items up there. Okay. So when you click on my shop, you'll see it on the website. So Spirit, what are the love messages here for Aries? First house of the Zodiac. What do they need to see or acknowledge? Finances and career are coming first, it says right here. Finances and career. That's pretty much... Aries has been showing up as Queen of Pentacles, which to me is you're focused on real things, real matters, paying bills, having money in the bank, <laughs> um, being practical. All right, what else do we have here for Aries for love? Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Any other messages here for Aries? Whoops. Messages for Aries. it is express your love make the romantic gesture wow okay so we have chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction Okay, so that's all that flipped. Okay, Aries. I'm going to use this deck called the Tholema. Ten of Swords is on the bottom, which was the outcome of the daily, which means it's the ending of a cycle. Um, you're coming to, you're getting closure. Something's coming to an end as far as stress is concerned. Mental stress, mental anxiety, mental exhaustion. So, Spirit, what are the messages here for Aries for love and romance? What do they need to see? Love and romance, Aries. Love and romance for Aries. The Page of Swords. This is the energy of a challenge. Um, it can be somebody who's watching you, spying, um, observing. It can be somebody who wants to... It's someone with a lot of ideas, but their delivery is immature. So they're not professional. It's someone who could be irritating, annoying, kind of annoying. The Page of Wands. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is in the crossing. Fire sign and air sign. The Four of Coin. Holding on. Financial security. Stability. Not wanting to let go of the situation, wanting to hold on. Six of Wands, the victory, getting a lot of attention, overcoming something difficult. Aries for love and romance, Aries, love and romance.
temperance, patience, cooperation, tempering your emotions. Six of coin, generosity, giving, receiving a gift, financial assistance. Um, earth energy that's coming in. Four of Cups. So Aries is in is the stable person, the temp patient person, the stable person. Two of Air around you, somebody who's mentally conflicted, confused, trying to make a decision. They're going back and forth in the, their mind about something. So I got, wow, the Hierophant is what you're wanting, and the outcome is the Death card. Very interesting, Scorpio energy, an ending, a transformation. Look at this, Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. Totally worried and freaking out, and then a wish coming true. Okay. So, what is this death energy? Eight of Wands. Something comes in very quickly. Information. Uh, what is the Four of Cups here for Aries? The Lovers. Again, is your energy. You're coming in with a union, a bond. I feel like the Aries person here doesn't want a third party, doesn't want like an extra outside influence. They just want to be stable. What is the Four of Pentacles? The Four of Swords, cutting off communication, resting, uh, healing after some kind of stress. We have a Ten of Pentacles that flipped. Long-term commitment, money, wealth, and abundance. I'm not quite sure where this would go. Let's put it here. What is the Temperance? The Seven of Coin. Being patient, someone here is trying to figure out what they want to do. Um, it's they're trying to figure out whether they're getting what they want out of a situation. What is the Eight of Wands and Death? What is this outcome about here for Aries? Why are we getting this? Why are we getting this? The Nine of Cups. So some kind of wish comes true for you where it's a change and things will, won't be the same. Death is like a death to a way of being. What is this Six of Coin? So the Six of Coin looks like it's kind of leading to this. What is the Six of Coin? Okay, Ten of Wands. Somebody's helping you out. You put in a lot of work in some way. Head, the burdens are relieved. Um, the sun card. Happiness, joy, great success, growth. Okay, 
So, stable. Why is there a two of swords around the Aries? Who's confused or conflicted? The Knight of Swords. There may have been some fight or argument or somebody was lashing out at the other person. The Nine of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Cups. What is this wish coming true here for Aries? Why is it here? Why is there the Nine of Cups here for Aries? The King of Air, a decision maker, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody who is a professional communicator. Um, it's not always a bad card. It's an air sign king, so it's a professional communicator. Wow, we got an ace of coin with that. A new beginning, a new potential for something real. So why are we getting the Seven of Pentacles right here with the Temperance? Why are we getting Seven of Pentacles with Temperance? The Two of Pentacles. Somebody is juggling or trying to make something work trying to juggle two things or make a decision Ooh, there's a ton of air with that the ending of stress so what is the lovers here for aries why is this here why is the lovers here for aries oh my gosh so i got the strength card Self-control, Major Arcana for Leo, Feminine Strength. Okay, still this wish is somebody is offering you something real, King of Swords, with an Ace of Coin that changes everything. What is the Nine of Cups here with the King of Swords? The Star card, wow. This is an opportunity to be your best self. Um, it's something that gives you a lot of hope for the future. The star. Bottom of the deck is four of wands. The stable happy home, achieving a goal of some kind. High priestess, following your intuition. King of wands, Aries, Sag Sagittarius being a leader. Five of pentacles. Hermit Virgo. Um, so somebody offers you something with the star card and the ace of pentacles, the death, the nine of cups. This changes everything. It changes you feeling like, well, things are stable. I may not be getting what I want. Four of pentacles, four of swords, four of cups. But at least it's stable. Something comes in here and changes everything. Okay. What was the main energy? I forget. Oh, the Page of Swords. So it could be somebody who's watching you or observing you. Um, it could be a message that you receive, a text. Okay, let's see. So, Spirit, what are some messages for Aries for love? The Judgment. A big decision, something being resurrected, brought back to life. Spiritual awakening. There's a page of wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. A very creative person. We have the emperor, power and authority. A leader. We have competition. Okay. What else do we have? Messages for Aries for love. Love and Romance, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have a friend returning or just a friend reaching out to you and a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius again. An Ace of Cups is here, a new, poten a new potential for love, peace, or healing. The 
Terrapint is here. Marriage, Taurus energy, institutions conforming to a set of standards or values. Knight of Wands, Passion in Motion, and Queen of Pentacles. I feel like that's Aries energy right now. Seven of Cups. Having a lot of options and choices to make. Walking away. Looking, going to look to find something else. The Moon, the Three of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. High Priestess. The Nine of Cups and the Ace of Coin again. There's something that is a wish. It's something you've been hoping for. And I feel like it's coming through. It says a King of Air. A decision maker. Eight of Wands is on the bottom. Communication. It's Mercury and Sagittarius. So it's information you're receiving. Either text, phone calls. Ten of Wands. There's a heavy burden. But there's something here. New information. And Ten of Cups with the Sun. Ooh. And we have justice behind it. Ooh. And we have the four of pentacles, four of wands behind it. My goodness. Temperance is behind that. Patience and ten of coin. Be patient for whatever it is you have been waiting for, Aries, because this looks like maintain a sense of emotional balance over something because it looks like something is coming in that's going to change your life very dramatically. Um, where it's a wish coming true, the star card, and an offer that's real. So I am going to leave this here for you, Aries. This is your love message. Thank you so much, and take care.